All right. So, appreciate you guys tuning in. As always, Chaz Michael Michaels here on a Saturday night. Get my drink here next to me. We got the roster for the mini helmets. All right, guys. So, get her started. So, 2019 TriStar Football Mini Helmet Auto 10 Box Case Break. So, we got JC Barfly, DC 74, Billy D 13, DC 74, Charlie, Jason S, Charlie, Tulip C, Charlie in there again, Outlander, Jason S, The Big Fella 77, Browning 51, and DF Sports Cards, Aid Wald, or AD Wald, A. Andrew B, screen name, Jason S, too lit to see, Dan, 2004, Outlander, XXC, Jason S, two times, A. Miller, Go Blue, Jason S, Pels, 32, Jakey V, Dylan, The Posse, K-Man, Jason S, and Floyd Town. So I got my, uh, good evening, DC74, good, uh, good to see you on the chat there. So I got my Georgia Bulldogs on here playing against Vanderbilt. I mean, there wasn't much to worry about, but uh, good to see Georgia in the lead. All right, let me get a box cutter here. So we'll start out with the mini helmets as stated. All right. box it shows you know Emmett Smith Steve Young Todd Gurley Tom Brady Pat Mahomes so let's see if we can do something weird like that all right like I said guys uh, ultimate eight baseballs up there as well we've got box number five still needs to be filled and uh, yeah if you guys are feeling really crazy I mean, we can uh, we can get like I said, we've got uh, ten rounds built out. We can uh, we can pop into a sixth box if you want, and then what we'll do is we'll just random off the box we'll use out of the boxes that remain, and uh, yeah, go from there. But let's uh, let's get started out with some mini helmets here. So uh, good luck. Let's see what we got. Hopefully, hopefully no Ken Andersons or Jim Plunkett's. And we know they're in here. Okay. So starting her out. We got a Joe Cap. The only quarterback to win the Rose Bowl, CFL, Grey Cup, and the Super Bowl. All right, 1969 Pro Bowl selection over to the Minnesota Vikings. So that's Jason S. with the Joe Cap. All right, so there's the first. Hopefully everybody's got some fun plans for, uh, for Labor Day. I have zero plans at the moment, so so much for fun plans for me. But... Uh, yeah, we'll see. That could change, you know. My wife's always good at making plans and that I don't know about. And Monday will roll around. She'll say, oh, yeah, we're going to do, you know, whatever. All right. Well, what do we got? We got a Ricky Williams, 1990, uh, 1998 Heisman Trophy winner for the University of Texas. So we got the Ricky with the Texas helmet. Now, Ricky last played for, I believe, the Baltimore Ravens. So, uh as the site works, the last team the uh, player played for. So Ricky Williams over to the Baltimore Ravens. So Baltimore will be, let's see, who has Baltimore? So that's Jason S. again. So back to back for Jason S. right out the chute. 
Oh, there's there's good old straw. Good to see you in here, buddy. Yeah, we've got, uh, like I said, we had 10 rounds built out. Five will be broke for sure tonight. We can go uh, with six if you're up for it. I'll just have to put that up here in a little bit. If we're uh, if in the uh, chat here, it seems like we're gonna make something happen and move that box because we can't get it up there and then it sits. So that's that, that'd be problematic. So uh, next, we've got James Lofton, eight-time Pro Bowl selection, NFL 1980s All-Decade Team, Green Bay Packers Hall of Fame. So this one going over to the Green Bay Packers, Browning 51. With a James Lofton. So you got the James Lofton Hall of Fame 03. Oh yeah. See, I don't know, but see, James Lofton, if you ask me, he's a Buffalo Bill, isn't he? Uh, you know, I just can't keep up with it. I actually do remember him going to the, the Packers, but again, I, I I remember him as a Buffalo Bill. That's that's all I'll say. That one going over to the Packers, Browning 51 with a James Lofton. All right, well, hey, what do we got here? We got a nice uh, variation Broncos helmet, all right? Or maybe this is to the time period this guy played. So how about Willie Brown, five-time AFL All-Star Game selection, AFL champion, 1967 Super Bowl, 11 champion. Four-time Pro Bowl selection. Three-time first team all over. Yeah, okay, you got it. So Willie Brown over to the Broncos. So Denver, where you at? Who's got Denver here? So we got Dan, 2004, with the Denver Broncos, Willie Brown, mini helmet. Yes, he did catch tons of Kelly's balls. And, you know, I think I know him as a, uh, as a Buffalo Bill, let's be honest, because of... Tech Mobile. All right. So Andre Reed, Don Beebe, or whatever his name is, tied in, and then James Lofton on the other end. You drop all the way back to your own, your own end zone and just launch it down the field. And I remember old James Lofton spiking the football in the end zone with the touchdown text at the top of the screen. I remember all that. All right. So. Here we get a Jets hit. So how about Jamal Adams, Pro Bowl 2018. Yeah, 2018, second team All-Pro 2018. About 2018 stuff there. First team All-SEC all, S, all SEC in 2016. So Jamal Adams over to the Jets. So we got our first, uh, our first current player. So over to the Jets is Outlander, XXC. Let's do five UB tonight and the other five tomorrow. Now that would be that would be awesome. I'll, I'll check with Brian and see if he's uh, he's up for jumping online tomorrow night and uh, yeah, see if we can't get something rolling there, huh? All right, what are we in here? We're down to our last five, so we're halfway through it with the TriStar mini helmets. Oh boy, we got another vet. Another vet, but a cowboy. So that's never a bad thing, right? So how about Chuck Howley, six-time Pro Bowler, Super Bowl, six, champion, Dallas Cowboys Ring of Honor. How about uh, Jerry Jones today uh, talking about Zeke and calls him Zach? Yeah. And then talks about, you know, not needing like a, a star runner necessarily. That they, Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, Chuck Howley over to the Dallas Cowboys. And that, my friends, will be Billy D, 13, with the Chuck Howley. Forget Zeke, forget Dak, forget Amari Cooper. Get you a Chuck Howley on a Saturday night. Yep, that's the kind of mini helmet that you can wake up proud about. Wake up, tell your kids, listen kids, taking a random vacation. You don't have to go to school anymore. I'm quitting my job. We got a Chuck Howley Dallas Cowboys helmet on the way. All right, signature confirmation because that stuff, that can't get lost. All right, and then 
you take them to Disney World or even better, you know, take them to see the Eiffel Tower. Do something. But just first, I guess you got to sell the Chuck Halley. But uh, how about Lenny Moore? So seven time Pro Bowl selection, seven time All Pro selection, two time NFL champ, 1950s All Decade team, record 18 straight games with a touchdown. Lenny Moore for the Colts. Oop, get this this way. Yeah, there we go. So get you Lenny. Hall of Fame, 75. So going over to the Colts will be uh, DF Sports Cards. There you go. Yeah, so, yeah, who, who, had the, who had the Cowboys again? Who's quitting their job? Oh, yeah, Billy D. Yep. Billy D. Got, taking the kids to Disney World. Extend the summer. Unless you're a single guy, then you know, then you just you quit your job and you hang out at restaurants and over tip servers. Well, how about this, Billy D? Now we're just talking bonus. All right, so we got a Mel Renfro, five time All Pro selection, 10 times Pro Bowl selection, 1970 Pro Bowl, co MVP, not the MVP, co MVP. Super Bowl champ two times. Dallas Cowboys Ring of Honor. Played for the University of Oregon. There's your Mel Renfro. There you go. So Billy D with the Chuck Howley and now a Mel Renfro. Think about that. You don't even have to quit work. They'll let you just retire. You'll go in. They'll put you up, somebody put you on their shoulders. Everybody's gonna be Billy, Billy, Billy. And you just wave, throw $100 bills. You have to hit the ATM beforehand. Oh, it's gonna be so memorable. They'll make a movie about it. And it's gonna be something to talk about for years to come. All right, what do we got here? No box for this one. Oh, this is an I feel like maybe this is not a bad not a bad one to get. All right, so Notre Dame. So whether you're a fan or not, it's going to sell decently, right? Paul Hornig. Hornig. Huh? 56 Heisman Trophy, Notre Dame. Draft number one overall pick for the Green Bay Packers in 1957. 1961 NFL MVP, four-time NFL champion, Super Bowl one champion. All right, so this guy has got quite the resume. This is Paul Hornum. And that is going over to the Green Bay Packers. All right, so that's Browning 51 with another one. So add to the James Lofton. Now you got Paul Hornum. You might be able to retire too. Think about that. Okay, last one. Okay, last one. What do we got hiding here? It can't get much better. It can't get much better. All right, what do we got here? All right. Is Ultimate 8 Baseball number five? Is it, is it done? Hey, this is not a bad one either. All right, for the San Francisco 49ers. Is it Steve Young or... Joe Montana? It is. Y. A. Tittle. So four times first team all pro, seven times Pro Bowl. 1963 AP NFL most valuable player, three times NFL passing touchdown leader. And on and on and on. San Francisco 49ers Hall of Fame. Y. A. Tittle going over to the San Francisco 49ers and Jason S. So there you are, Jason S. Got you some. So you got up all in the mini helmets, and I believe you got three of them. So that's not too bad. So YA Tittle, San Francisco 49ers. Yeah, Browning 51, buying spots for everybody. All right, so there is your mini helmets. Let me go ahead and save this video up, and then 
I'm gonna go back to the computer and see if number five has sold, and then we can uh, then we can get going on those. 